This is going to be my review on the Think Tank Photo Airport Security Version 2 roller bag that I just packed with some personal items and some of the gear that I took recently on a two-day overnight trip. So generally, I don't have all this stuff with me, but just to show you how much stuff this bag can actually take I'm just gonna go ahead and take everything out because they need things need to get charged photos need to be backed up and lenses and camera body also need to be looked over and possibly cleaned so this one is part of their airport series and it fits in domestic airliners I would say anything over a 737 if you're Going traveling in a smaller commuter jet, you might have to check this bag. But from what I've seen and read about other reviews, is that this bag has no problem getting on an aircraft. So starting on the outside, this is uh, an expandable kind of like a neoprene material. And basically, in here, I had my personal laptop, which is a 15-inch MacBook Pro. And for my wife, I brought uh, the iPad 2 so she can read her book or play her apps or whatever. <clears throat> so you could fit in any number of things, loose clothing items. Sometimes I stuff a jacket in there if I need to. This bag has plenty of handles. There's one on each side. There's also one on the top one on the back side and one on the very bottom which makes it very handy to lift in and out of um, storage bins on top of the aircraft in this upper pouch here I put things that I kind of frequently need or stuff that I want to get to but I don't necessarily want to open the entire camera bag and show what I'm carrying in there so this is the think tank pixel pocket rocket with cards and memory card readers my camera has a dual SD slots so generally I don't need to add any more memory but it's still good to have the next thing is the ring cover for the airport security version 2.0. I like that Think Tank photo always includes a ring cover in their bags. <clears throat> next in here we have, this is a, a Seagate portable drive. This is where I store my photos on. Uh, car keys whatever there's extra pouches in here you can put pens you could set this up as like a little miniature wallet if you wanted to has zippered pouches here for your car keys house keys whatever you need to put in it <clears throat> so to get in the bag there's this nice, I've never seen this lock before in any other luggage. Probably because I haven't bought in luggage in a while. But there is a TSA lock here on the side. So if, uh, if the security at the airport still wants to look inside your bag, they can get it. Otherwise, it's a three number combination. And it locks your zippers. And these are our YKK zippers. So they're pretty sturdy. And it's... It keeps everything secure. You just push these two ends and the zippers pop out. And you just unzip it. I have to slide the bag so you get to see what's on the lid. So here, <coughs> there's uh, three varying sizes of pockets they all have nice zipper and they have uh, zipper protectors these are little pouches so when you close the lid this is not going to scuff up items that you would have stored in the main compartment so it kind of just 
sits in this little pocket there and it won't scratch up here i keep a copy of all my serial numbers and in, in case we got uh, too many lenses or too many cameras around and we don't know which one's which i have my serial number right there and i can grab it and go in this other pouch here these are some uh, homemade ring covers for my wide angle lenses the second pouch this is more maintenance and cleaning stuff. I clean my own sensors. So these would be the wipes. Uh, this is some um, dry pellets. If you go to very humid areas or very cold to hot or hot to cold areas, your lenses can fog over and you can get mildew or whatever. So. These are the same things. These are like silica dill packets. And I just perforated a bag. So that keeps uh, the moisture at a minimum within the bag. Uh, this is an extra body cap. This is just like a wristband. So if I'm sweating or whatever, I can wipe my brow. Real quick. Uh, lens claws to clean the computer monitor. Same thing, this also has a zipper protector over here in the corner. This last one is all the... This last pouch has all my uh, cleaning supplies in it. So for the lenses themselves, this is some Eclipse optic cleaning fluid that I put on some of the wipes and I swipe my sensor. In case I have to, uh, if I notice some dust spots or something and I'm out in the field or on the road in a hotel room or wherever. This is more stuff from the kit. Uh, lens cleaning wipe that, you know, never, I never use it for anything other than cleaning the camera body. Some more tabs. This is the brush to dust off any particulates on the sensor that I can see a lens pen and this is the swab where you wrap uh, some of the lens wipes and swipe your camera lens uh, and your camera sensor q-tips to clean the viewfinder some lens tissues get some of the grime off and some of the grease off if I'm in a, if I accidentally touch my lens, sensor loop, you uh, take off the lens cap or camera body cap, you go in your settings and you flip your mirror up and then you shine this down and you look through it and it magnifies and it also illuminates your sensor so you can see where you have dust or if your sensor is clean. So that's all what I have in the lid. <clears throat> Slide this bag down. All right, now looking in the uh, main compartment, it ships with tons of these internal dividers. Everybody has a different setup. You know, some people have tons of lenses, some other people have tons of speed lights. So you can basically swap and configure it however you want. Uh, this trip I only wanted one bag so I filled this thing to the brim and I'm not going to take it on an island or such so I'm going to break it down but everything goes in this bag and then if I'm going to shoot some wildlife or I'm going to go through town or something like that and I want um, more of a portrait lens or whatever this is one of my camera vests so I would just pick and pick and choose what items I want from in here, set up the camera that I initially want it, and then teleconverter, uh, macro lenses, whatever I want, I can put inside the vest, and that becomes my second camera bag. That way, I'm not carrying a roller and a camera backpack. I just take the roller and fill what I need in the vest, and that's how I go through town. Um, immediately under here, this is my filter holder. This is uh, an older Think Tank product. This is all the other stuff. 
this would have you know anything to deal with uh, time lapse or something like that. So this bag is gonna have its own like lens cleaning stuff, a microfiber cloth solution, and a brush. Because if you sometimes you might not know that you have uh, dust on your lens until you stop it down. And then I'm like, oh crap, I got salt spray on my lens or something, so I can clean it real quick. In here are uh, polarizers, different filters, a Koken filter series, and a little notepad. Pen or something. Back here is, uh, it's not in here right now because it's still on my tripod, but I have the cable release. So anytime I'm shooting, uh, Landscapes or long exposure, this little pouch has everything in it. Below here is a, I think it's the Joby Gorilla Pod or something. It's one of those uh, twist tripods. You can put it down pretty much anywhere and you can wrap it. Sometimes I'll put the GoPro on this and get some behind the scenes. This is a, another tripod. It's low profile. So it's good to go under uh, planes and stuff that I also shoot sometimes. It's just not as malleable because it's this is only has one position. Uh, this is the GoPro plate if you want to get really low to the ground with your GoPro. This ships when you buy one, so I would just hold on to this because you can still use it. It's a nice platform. Uh, and some gaffer's tape. That's that one. Moving on. <clears throat> More gaffer's tape. This is kind of like the uh, electronics cube. This is my VHF UHF scanner for police, fire, and airplanes. The battery charger for my camera. Uh, Belkin. Uh, multi prong thing so if you're in an airport or if you're in an old home or an old hotel that doesn't have as many outlets <clears throat> as our modern equipment requires I can plug this in I can charge two USB devices and plug in additional three I can charge my battery charge my laptop and whatever I need the third one for And this is for the iPad and the iPhone, and then I can use this power brick for any other thing that uses a USB. Then up front here in this little odd shaped pocket, I got my uh, rocket blower just to give everything a nice dusting before it goes in the bag. Uh, this is for rechargeable batteries for the flash or for the camera. Up here is my main camera body with I don't use uh, camera straps as much I kind of like the wrist straps a little bit so that's what's on there right now lens wise 518 some extension tubes to turn it into a macro lens extra lens caps and this is the Nikon 7300 In this pouch, it's all the power supply for the camera. So I'm gonna have an extra battery slider and this is the grip that goes to the bottom of the camera. Inside it has a tray, so I can put a regular camera battery in here and also have one in the camera, so that's two camera, uh, two camera batteries. But if I do run out of battery, I can run to any convenience store and pop in six uh, AA batteries and it fits in the same slider. So even if you're out in the rural areas or in the boonies and you don't have power to charge your camera regularly, I can still run the camera on AA batteries. And they just stay in here. These are some little camera wallet, um, memory card wallets. Sometimes I use them, sometimes I don't. The uh, wide angle lens, 14 to 24. And more caps. 
In here, everything pertaining to off-camera flash. Got some wireless triggers. A young new flash for macro or shining a little catch light and birds or something. More batteries. And that's pretty much it from there. This is the GoPro pouch. So everything that I need to mount the GoPro fits in here, including extra battery. And it's nice and clear, different backing, different mounts. So I can see what part I want and I can easily find it. An Allen wrench, because everything usually uses the same Allen wrench. Um, power supply for the Mac. And a compass. Coming close to the end here. Uh, Black Rapid RS Sport. I usually hook this on to 300. Helps take the weight off. Uh, this is the Think Tank Photo Corrential Holder. I did a video on this uh, some time ago, so I'll put it in the links. Uh, IDs, whatever I need in here, extra maps. It's kind of like a wallet. I just fill it up with whatever I need. This other clear pouch, which ones is, uh, this, the other one's green. This is kind of like clear or blue. This is everything that I need when I'm working with a tripod. So it's got extra Think Tank Photo red whips, an extra clamp, this is a Arca Swiss plate, some tools. I also have the uh, Peak Design Capture Pro plate if I want to attach the camera to my uh, backpack strap or something like that. So there's extra tools in here. And this is my high-vis vest. Anytime I get out of my car and I'm near the road photographing uh, some snow geese, snow owls, hawks, herons, landscape, waterfalls, or something like that, I always put on a high-vis vest because people don't really notice you when you're standing on the side of the road. So this just, uh, especially when I'm on a bridge or something like that, even though there's a, a walkway, people not might not see you until it's too late and I don't wanna have an issue. So uh, this can also act as a vest because it has fairly large pockets. But uh, I do recommend getting a, a high vis if you're gonna be working in proximity to any kind of roadway. And then under that, <clears throat> this is the 300 F4 with the 2x uh, teleconverter. So it's kind of, it's not a true 600, but kind of acts like a 600 F8. And if you have enough light, you can get some uh, pretty sharp and fast shutter speeds because it is a prime lens. So that's basically the interior of the bag. And like I said before, these are all Velcro. So if you have two camera bodies with lenses already mounted you can switch this around and it comes with a, a variety of dividers I just set it up um, this way for now and as I add more gear or if there's a different job that doesn't require certain things like I've also had if I take this one out I can actually fit my tripod in here uh, normally it's mounted on the side and I'll show you that in a second, but it's good to know that I could travel um, with everything actually in this one bag. I just have to figure out what I need from this area, but I can fit my carbon tripod right in here and it would be perfect. Because uh, last trip to Hawaii, I had an issue. I had a large Manfrotto tripod and we had to shuffle some luggage material around to actually uh, take it. So. I'll just show you a few more details about this bag. Just close up the lid. Show you how this lock works here. <clears throat> so you just push the zippers in there and they're locked. 
That's one of them. There's actually a few more. So let's say you had a laptop <clears throat> stored in here and you're on a long flight. You might not want to have that on your seat so you think it's secure uh, stowed up top. But just to be sure, this bag also has another cable. This is another uh, three number combination cable and you could hook this in like if you have a laptop bag you could snap this in here and put your laptop in there and if somebody wanted to even if you're at a cafe or something and your laptop's poking out if they try and pull it out they're going to get snagged on this and you'll actually feel it so that's lock number two <clears throat> let's flip this thing over So on the back, you have another compartment. The cool thing about this size, this is the security, so it's US domestic. They make a, a slightly smaller one that fits uh, smaller prop planes and is also good for international flights. But the international one doesn't have these. These are, in certain situations, you might want a backpack. Like if you have to climb a long set of stairs or something like that. So these are quickly deployed. They clip in right at the bottom of the roller. And now instead of hauling, instead of rolling, I don't know, 40 pounds, 50 pounds a gear, you can haul it over your shoulder for a brief amount of time. And these are super thin, but I mean, they're still good quality, but nothing compared uh, to a standard camera backpack and they fold up nice and neatly but I'll deal with that later but in here we have a little hit compartment <clears throat> and here's the third lock this cable runs actually there's a chassis inside the bag so this is actually connected uh, to that so here is probably your biggest uh, theft deterrent in here. I might upgrade the lock. But, um, so, if you're on location or something like that and you're going to be distracted with your model or with the family that you're working with and you, this is bag's going to be out of sight for you know even a split second, you can take it, this lock and wrap it around a tree, a bench, wherever you might be. If you're at the airport and you're kind of tired because you've had a long flight and you you know you're worried that you might zone out, you can wrap this around any column or the bench or even wrap it around your own leg or something like that. And uh, it's just a little you know little anti theft things. If they see this bag is locked up they're going to move on to the next bag that's less secure because they don't want to spend any more time in the area than they have to. They'll start looking suspicious or something or people will recognize them. So they want to get in and get out and any one of these locks will help deter at least some of the idiots that want your stuff. Also back here uh, on the higher end bags, I think it might be only a couple though. I think it might be the airport security and the logistics manager come with a serial number and you can register this serial number with Think Tank Photo. And if you say, if you were to forget it in a cab or something or in a shuttle, there's a number that they would call and if you registered your bag, Think Tank Photo is trying to get in contact with you and return it. Then on the side here, we got, I haven't quite used this pouch, so I don't really know. I might put a, might put another radio in here perhaps, or something like that. Uh, this buckle here is to mount the tripod cup. My larger Manfrotto would uh, 
most likely need that. So you would attach it in there and the strap hangs down and you have, if you have a tripod with fairly large legs, you might need to use the um, tripod cup, but it also comes with these uh, compression straps. So this is what I used over the past weekend for my own personal tripod. That secures the neck. And then down here, there's a little neoprene pouch so I can put two of the legs in here and the third one is out there. And then I use a compression strap to cinch it down. The tripod cup would attach here, but luckily I don't have such an old school or a really heavy tripod. And last but not least, let's look at the top of the bag. A little ID area for you to put your business cards or whatever you want. Quick access zip area, boarding pass, your wallet, perhaps your cell phone or something. Little mini, you know, miscellaneous items. Again, you know that you want quick quick access to and you don't store up here. And then this is a roller. So we got our our roller in here. Standard like luggage roller thing and it rolls quite nicely it has kind of I would call them inline skate wheels so you can zip that sturdy handle and here's a little bit of wheel action uh, if these get low or they get torn up or whatever you just call up think think foot and uh, they'll send you some new wheels in the abrasion areas they got this nice hard plastic so this is closest to the ground it's going to take some knocks against the curb or whatever so smartly they reinforce this area and uh of course now i got tons of cat hair on it so i'll have to end up cleaning taking the lint brush and getting that off and I got all my stuff out on the bed too, so I'm going to go ahead and clean everything and charge everything and get ready for the next photo session. If you have any interest in Think Tank Photo or their other products, go ahead and check them out at thinktankphoto.com. And they're also on Facebook. And I'll put a link below in the comment section where you can get... A free gift if you spend over $50 and you also get uh, free ground shipping with FedEx in the U.S. Thanks.